What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? That was not a good clap. On the very, very long list of things you should have to be prepared to protect yourself, to protect your family, I think a gas mask should absolutely be on that list if you are trying to be a prepared person. The world is going crazy. So, in steps in the Mira Safety CM8M, but... <laughs> Before we get into the mask, I have three quick things. No, this is not a cheap gas mask. You could find something on Surplus, something at the Army Navy store, something God knows how old and what it's been through for significantly less. Me personally, there's certain things I'll skimp on and there's certain things I won't skimp on. Something that could save my life, I don't like to skimp on. So gas mask, condiments, never skip on condiments. Go ahead and treat yourself. Get that Hellman's, get that Heinz. Don't skimp on comments. Gummy beers, never. Skimp on gummy bears. Second, yes, I know I have this beard. It's not looking good right now, but that's okay. And I know a beard will probably stop a seal from happening on a gas mask, but nobody, especially my wife, and that's all that matters, wants to see me without a beard. So if I have time to shave my beard and get my gas mask on, great. If not, oh well, I guess I will die. If you're looking at gas masks, you're probably trying to be prepared if that's the case. I would add armor to that very long list if you have the funds. To get yourself some armor, consider Prime Armor. High quality, level three, level four, soft armor, plate carriers, lots of good stuff. High-end armor without quite the high-end price. I've tested all of their armor before. I've used it all. I've been repping it for, for years now. The discount code is Tiberius. Very good stuff. You guys eat up that discount code and I appreciate it. All right, now let's get into this full face respirator from Mira Safety. One thing they change is gonna be the harness in the back. It is now a six point harness. Uh, the old one like I have here, the CM7M had a five point harness. So the new one is definitely a little bit more comfortable, especially if you're wearing it for a long period of time. The material it's made out of appears to be the same. It's that whatever rubber, I'll put the name on the screen. I don't know how to say it. I'm just not that smart. Uh, it still has two ports for a standard 40 millimeter NATO uh, filters. If you're new to gas mask and you don't know, there's a bunch of different types of filters, different quality filters, and different filters will protect you from different things. Like there's some just for dust, there's some that go up to nuclear protection and everything in between. You can geek out and look at all the filters. Now I didn't open these filters and test the mask with them because once you open it, these things have a shelf life and uh, for testing a gas mask, I don't need a filter. Um, if I ever need this, I want this to be fresh and new and working well, and they're not cheap, so I didn't open it, and yeah, I'm sorry. The other thing to keep in mind, if you put two filters in here, you will get better protection, longer protection with two of them, but say if you need to potentially shoot a rifle and you have one of the filters on the right side, that's definitely gonna get in the way, so just keep all of that in mind and do whatever works for you. Uh, it appears to have the same uh, voice diaphragm, speech diaphragm, whatever it's called, as the other mirror safeties, which is a good thing because the old one was very good. We've done a lot of training in the old one, the 7M one. Um, we all wore gas masks to the range uh, multiple times and did a lot of training. And uh, hearing and understanding everybody was never an issue. Hydration seems to be the same. Again, that is a good thing. Um, seem, appears to be the same as the other Mirror Safety Mask. It hook, uh, they do come with a canteen and it does work with camelbacks if you are cool and you want to do that. Uh, that is the same. The sweat drain on the bottom also appears to be the same and that is a good thing because the sweat drain works well. Now what's different from this one, it works with the Pro Film. The Pro Film is like a screen protector that goes over it. So if you get mud or water or whatever, you can just peel the film away and then you can see again. I think that's bigger for military use than civilian, but the end of the world comes and it gets all dirty. It's nice just to pull it away and still be able to see. Uh, the field of view is significantly better than the CM7M, the one I have here. This one, uh, the CM7M, it has some cool vibes to it, end of the world vibes. The way it looks is really cool, but the field of view on this one is much better. The other mirror safety mask, guys, I think is the CM6M. Hopefully I'm getting these model numbers right. That has a huge screen. It doesn't play well with uh, night vision and rifles, but the field of view and the openness on that is uh, is excellent. Um, besides field of view, this works. They have like this backpack thing, and I don't know a ton about it, but it's called a powered air purifying respirator. Put it on your back. It works with this as well. Um, that's on their website. Not cheap, but it is compatible. Um, the other big thing, the other big, big advantage I left to the end is how well this works with helmets, 
um, how well it works with firearms, how well it works with night vision, anything like that is going to be a, a lot more friendly to those type of things. I wore it a bunch with my team Wendy helmet, good to go. I tried on my buddy Opscore helmet, good to go as well. Again, the 6M, C, uh, I'm sorry, CM6M, big open space, not as claustrophobic. Fine for pistols, not great for night vision or rifles. The 7M here, a little bit better with rifles, but um, the field of view is not great. So this is kind of the best of all worlds. It works with night vision, works with rifles pretty well, especially if you have a uh, red dot on there, like a high up red dot. All right, your weight is 19 ounces. MSRP is around 320, 350 in that area. I will put some affiliate links down in the video description. Hopefully I can find you a good deal and it has around a 20 year shelf life. Now testing, a couple important things with testing. This is one of the things you really can't just buy it, throw it in the corner and wait for the end of the world to put it on. You really need to practice um, for a couple different reasons. I think weapon manipulation is much harder. Seeing is much harder. Breathing is significantly harder, especially if you're like me and you don't have the best lung capacity, you have some questionable cardio. I had asthma really bad as a kid, so it's a little hard for me to breathe in these things. For some reason, when I put one of these on, I kind of hold my breath. I don't breathe as much as I should. <sighs> totally on me, not the mask, but I, I don't know. I got to get out of that habit. Um, so I walked to the range a few times. I shot pistols, I shot rifles, I shot red dots, low power variable optics. Again, the red dots with like a high riser, something you would use for night vision is significantly easier than a low power variable optic. But you really need to practice shooting, weapon manipulations, especially if you're gonna shoot at night. A gas mask with a helmet and night vision, that's very challenging stuff, especially if you're a civilian like me. It takes a lot of practice when you see those Navy SEALs getting it with a gas mask and nods, man, that is, a ton of practice to get that good. So, practice, practice, practice. Um, another thing I want to point out, I'm working on the review for this uh, helmet bag for Audi Gear. It holds your night vision, it holds your helmet if you have night vision. The cool thing I noticed when I was going back and forth to the range, this mask will fit right under the helmet. In the, in the opening of the helmet, you put it right under, and now you have your gas mask. Um, you could squeeze a canister in there, filter if you want to. You have your helmet, you have your nods, you have everything in one bag. So I am working on a review for that as well. I don't know which review will be out first, but I wanted to point that out. Pros, all right, this has a great field of view. I was very happy to see the field of view compared to the CM7M. Um, the six point harness is definitely more comfortable. Um, it works a lot better with um, helmets, with rifles, with night vision, with all that stuff. The CM7M, not great for that stuff. Uh, I'm sorry, the 6M, the 7 here isn't great either. This is definitely the best to doing, uh, to work with all that stuff. And then the things I liked about the, the 7M, it still has all those great things. It has a great hydration, great sweat drain, great speech diaphragm. You get the point, all that stuff is good, good, good. Cons, excuse me, I know a lot of people are gonna say price. I don't personally put the price as a con. If something is high quality, I don't mind spending the money on it. Again, if you prefer going the cheaper route and you want to get something surplus, that's fine. I don't judge. You live your life however you want to. The comment section on the CM7M where people, man, it's okay to disagree. Uh, there's certain things I skimp on. There's certain things I don't. I don't want to skimp on a gas mask and never, never skimp on gummy, gummy bears. Trust me, don't. Buy the cheap gummy bears you will be disappointed anyway overall if you have the funds and you want to add something to your preparations like a gas mask mirror safety i do believe is good to go um i personally think food and water are a more important preparation but if you have the disposable income and you want to get a gas mask you want to get some body armor stuff like that uh, mirror safety prime armor discount code for mirror uh, for prime armor anyway again is tiberius and uh who knows what's gonna happen in the future and I like to be prepared. All right, thank you to Prime Armor for sponsoring the video. Thank you for Mirror Safety for sending me the gas mask and the filter and the canister and all that good stuff. Affiliate links in the video description if you want. Hopefully I can find you a good deal. Hopefully I can just find one of these in stock. Gas masks are crazy right now, very, very hard to find. If you wanna support the channel and if you want to look damn sexy doing it. And if you want the softest t-shirt in the game, we have Tiberius swag. We have short sleeve shirts, we have patches. I'm not kidding, you put this shirt on, you walk outside, you are gonna beat the ladies off with a stick. You are gonna look so damn sexy. The link to my swag is down in the video description. Most important though, 
fire up the dance in Santa. Does Santa go on this side or this side? I can never remember. I'll have to figure that out. Fire up the Santa though. I need you to like the video. I would love for you to drop a comment. You really need to subscribe to the channel and enable the bell notifications. If you don't subscribe, Santa's gonna put you on the naughty list. You're gonna get coal instead of a gas mask next Christmas. And that would just be so sad. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next time. Peace.